hello, my name is Mark Lackey. This is uh, the Madre Museum in Naples, and this is Felix the Cat. This is uh, a big inflatable balloon of uh, my favourite cartoon character, Felix the Cat. I've done a few things with Felix, and the reason I'm so attached to him is because uh, I found out a long time ago that he was the first, basically there was a photograph I found and in that photograph was a small doll of Felix and he was on a turntable and he was surrounded by all this equipment, all this strange technology and I found out that Felix the cat was the first image ever broadcast on television in America back in the 19, late 1920s. So from then on, he became like this uh, avatar to me of, uh, of the kind of, you know, the electronic image. So Felix is like this kind of figure uh, that keeps uh, mutating, that takes on different forms to fill whatever space, uh, real or, or um, digital, analog. Desiderata is like a is is like a list of uh, things that you desire, right? Yes. Which is essentially what my work is. It's about things that I'm uh, attracted to, or obsessed with, or fascinated by, and I make the work in order to kind of get closer to these mm -hmm. things, so I can understand them more. I'm fascinated in it as an image, but also I find it kind of uh, weirdly erotic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so I'm always trying to, trying to figure out why things, why some things I find erotic, why some things I find fascinating, and why some things make me, uh, upset me, or make me, or make me, you know, or emotionally they kind of affect me. So it's about that. So that's it, so this is the art, it's a list. And then in media res just means I'm always in the middle of it. I'm, it's, it's, there is no beginning, there is no end. I'm I mean, the thing is for me is to, is to try and like get as, like I said, get as close as possible mm -hmm. to the point where you're actually inside the picture in some way or inside to create a sensation that you're actually there in this in in this picture that's fascinated you go okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'm thrilled that this exhibition is opening here after it's taken different forms and included different constellation of works uh, in, the, in the various other institutions. This is a kind of homecoming. I have to admit that I told uh, everyone at the press conference the story that you recounted last night about Italy and in particular it Italian oh, yeah. fashion <laughs> being a really important point uh, of you know, your youth culture, of mm -hmm. your trying to be Italian in a mm -hmm. way, even getting your mother to order calzones and, and pizzas that were frozen, and then once you got here, being confronted with the real thing. The whole of the show is actually this dialogue between kind of media or virtual reality and the real. Yes, no, it's good. So I think it's, it's really fitting that, this, yeah. that you and your work comes to Naples. This is the real 
calzone. Right, okay. <laughs> the real calzone. Okay. Yeah. No, it's it's a it's a good it's a good analogy. It's true. <laughs> Through all the technology that, that we're, we're uh, enmeshed with, it just it just amplifies these things, and so now it things the idea of a kind of uh, that idea that I you know I had a fantasy and there was a reality that existed and I was confronted with that reality. I don't think I don't think you get that kind of polarity anymore. I don't think you get that that kind of. Uh, that difference anymore. It's, it's much more, I think if I was 16 now, it would be much more complex. Um, looking at the, the way in which technology, brands, the internet, uh, whether it's Felix the Cat or Jeff Koons Bunny or a Samsung refrigerator has been the motor for your work and your thinking. When you talked about coming of age as an artist, where at that moment everyone was reading Deleuze, Guattari, um, Derrida, where work had to be justified via high theory. And Marx's kind of response to that was at first not to make work, to feel that this wasn't his place to make work that needed to be justified. And then once he finally did in 1999 to make work about things he knew, about his life, the, the haircuts, the clothes, the brands, the people, um, and the, the place, starting from his apartment and going outward, that was extremely important to him. And you see that in this show. You see not only Mark himself, his red pants, in, on and off in the exhibition, but Mark himself throughout the exhibition, kind of, sometimes you have to look for him, hidden uh, behind the curtains or kind of in the background of the work itself. But also, all of the, all of the, as I said, brands, figures um, that have been important to him and have, as he said, that he's desired or been obsessed with. La prima eh, mostra eh, in un'istituzione pubblica italiana di un artista britannico, Mark Lecky, un artista molto importante. Mark Lecky eh, nel 1999 eh, propone un video, diventato poi famoso, Fiorucci Made Me Hardcore, sulla cultura giovanile musicale e sul lifestyle britannici. Era una delle prime volte che un artista si rivolgeva al quotidiano della sua generazione e lo celebrava nei gusti sulla musica, sul vestire, facendo un'opera che fosse uno specchio di una generazione che avrebbe eh, poco dopo lasciato la giovinezza. e la mostra ripercorre da lì tutte eh, le opere più importanti di Mark Lecky, un'altra collaborazione del madre con musei internazionali, il Vis di Bruxelles e l'Aus der Kunst di Monaco di Baviera, porta di nuovo un grande artista diciamo, a metà della sua carriera al madre, porta di nuovo il madre eh, sulle tracce diciamo così, della migliore arte internazionale, un giovane maestro internazionale. Naples, Munich, yeah, they're not the same. <laughs> um, 